Talking of the, uh, the aforementioned gentleman, that's not Sir Gabriel Byrne, uh, the other one. He is Scotland's most controversial broadcaster, and indeed, he is the talk of the UK radio industry. He doesn't play records like some lesser talents I could mention. <laughs> He spouts off. A man of very definite opinion on all manner of subjects. Women drivers, single mothers, students, working mums, you name it, he takes them all on. The voice of reason or the voice of blind prejudice, whatever you say, he's got a great face for radio. Ladies and gentlemen, Scotty McClue. <laughs> I'm going to ask you, we've been talking about prostitutes. Oh, yes. uh, you are, you're, you're a wise man. Oh, very wise. As I say, you spout off spout every off. day to your listeners. Yes. And you Sounds have... Sounds like a medical condition. <laughs> 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 yes, I mean, we'd be surprised if you had it. <laughs> Why do men go to prostitutes, Scotty? Well, I don't know that I'm actually the best person to ask that. <laughs> I mean, the first thing is, I couldn't do what the prostitutes do. You know, for, for a variety of reasons, but uh, I couldn't stand out in the cold all that time, you know, I couldn't cope with that. I think, I think the real reason that uh, men go to prostitutes is I blame their wives, I blame the women. Because if they... <laughs> seriously, no, they're laughing at me. Don't start any of that, I'm telling you. Now, listen, come on, come on, you're playing the women, this is outrageous. Just a minute, no, absolute fine, just hang on a minute. <laughs> I blame the women because if they would keep their men puffed out, <laughs> right? if they would keep their men puffed out, they wouldn't be fit to go to prostitutes, Rob. Now, the girls can I ask themselves... You, can I, before you go, can I ask you a very personal question? Aye. Are you puffed out? Yes. No, I, I, I actually think, I mean, I'm not for want, want to do the girls out of a job. That's, we don't want to do that. Well, it's seriously bad, but you know, you don't want to do the girls out of a job. What we could do is, say, open an old mine in central Scotland or something like that and get the girls to work the mine. <laughs> and then the women could keep the men puffed out and everything would be fine. There'd be no need for prostitutes. Why do you reckon men go to prostitutes? Well, he, he, there is a grain of truth in what he's talking about. <laughs> a lot more than a green bar. Come on, you reckon there is a grain of truth in what he's talking about? There is a grain of truth. Yeah, well, grain of yeah, well but, but half of the things that they want prostitutes to do, they, no reasonable woman would want to get up to anyway after a hard day's work and mm -hmm. looking after children. Oh, well, you've so, got a, a more of a knowledge than you you've studied it and all that. So so I would just be walking a wee yeah. straight bit of the heave hole. <laughs> to go then, would you? Probably you not. No, home. no, absolutely. absolutely. Keep the wife puffed out. <laughs> <laughs> what about women drivers? They're another bugbear of yours. It's, I mean, it's outrageous well, prejudice. But to let me hear your views, first of all. No, please. Uh, this is not a prejudice, actually. I'm not prejudiced against women drivers. I'm not prejudiced against women in any way whatsoever. You know, that's the first thing. No, I have to say that, and you know I'm right Well, here. what about women drivers? Women drivers are very, very dangerous. There are a number of things that women do well. For instance, they have their monthlies. They need a week off to do it, mind you. I don't believe it. They have their monthlies. They have babies. Can I hit him? Yes. Now, they have no, 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 but listen, seriously, Marvel, think about it. They have babies. And the babies are accompanied with all the shouting and bawling and oh! Ah. Now I suspect that is made up. They talk about the pain of childbirth, but I think that's actually made up. And I'll tell you why it's Barbara, made up. It's made must, up to keep men in the their place. He's, he's I'm just it. taking all the. I'm a ghast, actually. Well, you don't look a ghast. I, 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 I've got three children. This is absolute rubbish. Is that right? Anyway, go on. Scotty. Well, a lassie came on last week and she said, Scotty, you don't understand what it's like having a way, and it's like pulling your top lip over your head. <laughs> now, why would you want to pull your top lip over your head? <laughs> to get the child. To get the child. What yes. a funny way to produce a child. Pull my top lip over your head. Take my bonnet off. To get, back to, to get back to women drivers rather women than drivers. childbirth. How did we get on to childbirth for I women drivers? Unless you're, unless you're sort of driving a car and giving Polly childbirth said we're going into time. labor, you'd have started the politics. So what is it with, what is it with women drivers? I think the problem is women are just not cut out to drive cars. They're, <laughs> they're not coordinated. If you're driving along the motorway, and there you see this wee car in the middle lane, and the other two lanes are jammed, and you think, why is that car doing 40 miles an hour in the middle lane? And the answer is, 
There's a lady driving. No, no, wait. Now, wait a minute. She's careless women shackling me here. <laughs> I'm a great fan of yours, darling. All you right, know, it's wonderful. Tough, tough. No, no, so no. So what you prescribe, know. what's the answer then? Well, the answer is to take the women off the road altogether. <laughs> Put them onto public transport, right? Or you could cuff you it so that you don't get these wee cars all steamed up with a dug and four wains in the morning going to school. <laughs> So what, you do, what, what you're doing is, you see, on your show, you're doing all this sort of stuff, which you obviously very much believe in. Absolutely. Yeah. And mm. as, you know, as Barbara so said, in some, of the things, in, in some of the things you say, <laughs> in, some, Mom, this in some of the things you say, there is a certain <laughs> grain of truth, but are you not in danger of whipping up prejudice amongst people? Because you're opening a real can of worms here, aren't you? I mean, oh, what, no, what, no, what, no, what no, racists no. come on your show? Oh, we don't like racism. There's no need for it. Because, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, because somebody is perceived as being different because of their skin or something like that, we don't put up with any of that nonsense. But we must sort the women out. And we must sort the single mothers out. The other ones just... Oh, there's some single mothers in here that I... I can hear you. I can hear you. All right, let, let me hear about single mothers then. Well, the problem with the single mothers... I mean, people don't realise what I'm about here. I'm trying to protect these girls. That's big of you. It's very big of me. And I am very big. I'm trying to get down to 20 stone. <laughs> now, the, oh, here I have to say hello to my friends in Mary Hill. Are we on there? Hello to all the friends in Mary Hill and my mother there tonight. Nice to see you. Just sorry about that. But uh, it's just been here with the big wigs. <laughs> no, the thing about the single mothers, Nicky, and everybody knows this, is what happens a lot of the time is young girls go out for a Friday night, they drop their chores, dear. <laughs> I've said it now, I've said it. They drop their drawers and they maybe have a wean. Now the problem is these girls come on the telly and they say to me things like, um, it happens. No, it doesn't happen. No, if you don't drop your drawers. <laughs> that's the worry about it all, you see. Now what I'm saying is, look, if you're wanting a wean, right, because women, women are always very cautious people until they want a child. Then you have to go to bed if you're a man with your duffel coat on. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to put on these pyjamas with the feet that zip up the back. The thing is, you see, radio is um, a very, very powerful You're laughing medium. at me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm We're not laughing stand. with you. I hope so. <laughs> well, hope we'll I'm have not making a fool of me. We'll have, we'll have a little bit more for you, but not too much later no, on. No more. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, put your hands together in appreciation for the wit and wisdom of Scotty McClue.